and there ain't nothing here to see well good morning everybody this cruise man just getting ready to head home after having uh, breakfast with Don Smith I've got to make a run to a grocery store on the way home today so a little bit of excitement now if you're looking for a beautiful scenic lots of twisty type road ride video you're in the wrong place because this is Dallas, Texas, and there ain't nothing here to see. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do motor vlogs and how to videos, tips and tricks, product reviews, and I would invite you to follow the science because the science says you get much more enjoyment out of riding a motorcycle if you watch these videos. So you don't want to be a science denier, you want to follow the science and subscribe by clicking that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon because then YouTube will know that you want to see our upcoming videos. And it is hot here in Texas today. In fact, it's going to be up around 98 today, I believe. I don't think we've hit 100 yet, but we're getting pretty close. And it won't be long. What's the temperature like where you are? I've heard a lot of really hot temperatures in Utah, other parts of the country. And summer is definitely here because uh, it was about 78 degrees this morning. Uh, when I left the house around 6 a.m. and I would say before too long it'll be in the 80s uh, at that time of morning I, I've, I've had a couple of emails from some of you asking me why I haven't done my detailing uh, ceramic coating video and part of the problem is the temperature and the humidity here uh, those products have certain specifications as to how much humidity there can be when you apply those ceramic coatings and I'm not sure if I can get away with doing it it's uh, you know sometimes we have 70 to 80 percent humidity here and you wouldn't think it'd be that humid since we're you know we don't really have huge bodies of water nearby but we do we get a lot of humidity we've had a lot of rain this year maybe that's why i don't know i don't know where humidity comes from actually because there's places on the coast where you're near the ocean and they won't they'll have low humidity so i don't really understand how it works but anyway i finished up and posted my video last week a review of the invoxia gps tracker which i currently have in my glove box and uh, you know I just finished up that review and got it posted and it's done very well and this morning I get an email from my contact at Monimoto that says they now have their new 4G version of their GPS tracker available and want to know if they wanted me to send a, if they want me to have them send me one to test and compare with their previous version so I will email her back today and tell them to send it on over and we'll take a look at it. I still don't know yet what their policy is for those of you who purchased the 3G version of the Monty Moto GPS tracker. And I've had a lot of people ask me, what's the advantage of the Invoxia GPS tracker over something like Apple's AirTags? Because you can buy those AirTags for like 30 bucks. And why not just put an Apple AirTag on the motorcycle and track it that way? And you certainly can do that, but it will only give you the position of the AirTag based upon the last time that AirTag came in contact with an iPhone. So, if there are no iPhones in, you know, close by within Bluetooth range of that AirTag, you wouldn't know where your motorcycle is. So 
So an AirTag is not a true GPS tracker in that sense. It relies on a network of iPhones uh, to kind of update and track where it is. So uh, that's that's the, the main difference. Also, this Invoxia is very, very sensitive as to uh, tilt detection. So if the motorcycle falls over or if somebody pushed it over or somebody sits on the bike, it will instantly notify you of that motion. I love that part of it. And I'm going to do some testing on this new Monimoto to see if it does the same thing. So if you're interested in a comparison video between the 4G version of the Monimoto and the Invoxia, let me know in the comments down below and I'll uh, work on that. But I uh, am pretty impressed with the Invoxia app. And the Monimoto app is fine too, but I, I think the Invoxia just has a few little advantages. At least right now, I'm sure Monimoto is going to update and, you know, it's a competitive thing. I also put out a new video on my cruisereport.com channel yesterday. Uh, we have a 10-night cruise coming up in Greece next month. So if you're interested in cruising, you might want to check out that video. And we have another cruise coming up in September where we'll be going to Alaska. And this is like a real adventure cruise, kind of an expedition type cruise. And I think uh, I'll put some more information out on that. If, for those of you that are interested, you can go to that channel and check it out. I also want to give you an update on Wingding. I am not sure if I will be able to make it to Wingding this year. I've had several of you email me and ask me if I'll be there. And I'm just not positive. I do have a hotel reservation. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. So I may miss you at Wingding this year. Let me ask you this. Are you planning to go to Wingding? If you are, put it in the comments down below and let me know if you're planning on being there. Or if you too are going to miss it this year. And I will, uh, I will update you very soon on whether or not I will be at Wingding. But right now it's not looking very promising. The next thing I'll be reviewing is a new product from Bon Armor. I'm hoping to get that review done in the next couple of days. And some of you may have seen my uh, previous video where I reviewed Bon Armor, but they have some new products out. And I think it's worthy of an updated review. So I will be working on that soon. And a lot, I get a lot of questions about what gear I wear. And so I think I'll probably update everybody on what I'm wearing now as far as safety gear. And uh, we'll get into that discussion a little more in depth. So if any of you have any comments about the video, please put it down in the comments down below. If you like the video, I much appreciate it if you'll give it a thumbs up because it really does help our ranking with YouTube and it just makes a huge difference. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below also check out my 20 things 20 essential things every goldwing rider needs to know because in that i have i have a really special uh, discount code for my maintenance videos because if you have a sixth generation 2018 or later goldwing um, you can benefit from my uh, maintenance video series and you get a special discount if you watch that video so anyway i'm going to sign off i will see you on the next cruise man's motor vlog